In addition to a wonderful cast, the story is told so creatively, in a way that honors the source material on a level that the movies didn't really have need to. See, here's the thing. Aside from the contents of the stories themselves, one of the things that makes The Hobbit feel more like a children's story in presentation than Lord of the Rings is the more conversational style of the narration. The narration takes the tone of a man telling the story to children, taking into account the child's reaction to parts of the story, stopping to interrupt himself for clarification, and so forth. Now, canonically, the text of The Hobbit is a translation of Bilbo's memoir, There and Back Again, the first part of the Red Book of Westmarch, and the conversational tone of the narration mostly seems in character for Bilbo, except for the parts where the narrator clearly takes the position of a non-Hobbit. Such as, you know, in the first chapter where he interrupts himself to say, What is a Hobbit? These parts can be reconciled in the text as Tolkien himself editorializing when translating the original Hobbit manuscripts, but that's something most adaptations ignore simply by minimizing the use of narration altogether. The radio drama instead steers into that by having two narrators. Anthony Jackson plays an unnamed narrator credited on most releases as The Talebearer, who is telling the story alongside Bilbo himself. A perfectly round door painted green, mm -hmm. which opened onto a tunnel-shaped hall mm -hmm. with paneled walls and floors tiled and carpeted and lots of pegs for hats yes. and coats. But and I'm very fond of visitors, do you see? And he was quite well-to-do. Uh, yeah, the long hall wound on and on. The dynamic of Bilbo and the talebearer interrupting each other for clarification is a delightful framing for this children's tale, but the narrators mostly aren't used to excess. They don't include every aside the narrator makes in the original book, so I apologize if what you really wanted out of a Hobbit adaptation was to hear the story of old Bullroar Took inventing golf. On the other hand, admittedly there are a few parts where the narration is used to rush through plot points. Well, while we were resting in a cave, some goblins took the Hobbit and the dwarf... And so Gandalf, by keeping Bjorn enthralled with the story of their adventures, was able to introduce all the dwarves into his formidable presence. On the other other hand, there are also a few points where the narration isn't used that it probably should be. At least I can move about quietly in the woods. But one thing we hobbits pride ourselves on, we can move absolutely quietly. Yes, yes, we hobbits can be absolutely silent, completely silent. Let me keep talking out loud and at length about how quiet we can be. Mm -hmm.